Acromegaly is caused by either hyperplasia of the tissues of the anterior pituitary gland, which you'll remember is a buildup of tissues, or by a tumor putting pressure on the anterior pituitary. Both of these issues have the potential to make the anterior pituitary release an excessive amount of somatotropin or growth hormone, also known as GH, into the body, making it, of course, grow. The biggest difference between giantism and acromegaly is that the epithelial plates, like we already touched on in acromegaly, have closed. So the body can no longer grow up, so it's forced to grow in different ways. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.